channel so here is a very fine piece of my many sculptures so anyway here i took a empty plastic bottle of milk and i will start to wrap the foil around it to make the figure and this one is the small size if you want to make it in bigger size you can take the uh, big bottle i will be doing the same procedures same i do in my sculptures wrapping the tape around it to stick it and these are the legs i have prepared which I will be placing on the place uh, where I want the shape to be prominent so yeah anyway this is uh, you can see when one of my very very fine piece um, I didn't use any kind of fabric in it I tried to create the draping and layers of the fabric by using the clay paper clay and um, the foil just in case if somebody don't have cement or don't have uh, fabric so this is idea for them and I totally loved it it was my first try but I'm so happy with the layers the trapping the style came uh, into this figure so anyway this is a uh, paper clay I have uh, the recipe as well on my channel I will be covering all the parts uh, with this paper mache clay and then I will be showing the next here you can see i have covered the legs part front part almost these are the arms which i will be covering as well before sticking it on the shoulder i will be covering it with the foil i mean with the paper mache clay and then i will be folding them as well off the camera what space what position place i want the arms to be so this is the one i want like in one hand she is holding uh, one basket of flowers in the other hand the other one so this is go dry after getting dry these arms i'm sticking them on the shoulder and then i will be applying this uh, wire inside the foil then i will be sticking the head on it head also i have prepared already foil a simple round ball foil and i have applied the clay on top of this then this foil head also i will be going to insert inside the wire and then i will be covering all this neck and the foil part also with the clay and this is how it looks like the basic sculpture and now this foil part is going to be for her dress i will not be making it a flowing dress on the floor but just around her legs and with some layers and wrinkles and trapping a little bit trapping so i will be sticking it here and this is a little bit tricky part if you don't want to go for this you can go for the fabric into the cement that i have been doing in my previous videos but for me i wanted to try this thing so i am doing this wherever i want to create some wrinkles i will be adding the foil and then i will be applying the clay on top of this by keeping some more uh, layers with the clay on top of the foil as well and here it will be starting now so I will be covering all the parts and I will be creating uh, wrinkles wherever I want because you, this is a smooth clay here you can see how I have created the wrinkle with the spatula with this uh, tool and then will be some on other sides as well and on the front as well and then with the same thing i will be making her uh, a little bit of her leg part showing and the feet on the floor as well with the same clay I 
you can see basic things go dry i loved it how it has created the wrinkles and the layers and the legs are prominent as well one is a little bit bending and the other one is straight and then here with the same clam creating some more uh, detailings for her dress like belt area for skirt and those things And this is the part roughly I have created the feet as well and the arm. You can see a little bit details for her leg shape and body shape is clear now. And some more wrinkles and tailings for her sleeves as well for her dress like she is folding her uh, long sleeves uh, up to her elbow area so this is how it will be looking like so here I will be creating like folding part of her sleeve Here I am done with the both sleeves and almost all of her dress, a little bit left from the bottom and back side. And then here with the same clay I am creating her hair as well and some roughly uh, braided hair which will be coming near to her shoulder as well. So this is how it looks like now and this is going to be the braid from the side which is coming on her shoulder. Here I am taking this cement. Uh, if you want you can skip this part but I just want to get some smooth look for her uh, rough edges of the clay. Clay is anyway smooth it's not that much rough but I just want to try something different so I will be covering all of her dress all of her body parts everything with the cement by using brushes or a spatula or my fingers as well to smooth it down and I noticed that with the thick cement you can even create more wrinkles and wrapping for uh, the sculptures so here I will be showing you that how I am creating some wrinkles with the spatula and the cement it's a thick cement a little bit so it will be very nice finishing um, it will be giving also wrinkles properly so I was quite happy with the result as well so I will be covering all of this with the cement and let it dry overnight completely Here is the clear one, you can see how nicely it's creating the texture for the wrinkle. So this is the next day you can see how beautifully this figure has came out how nicely her legs shapes and dress is prominent so now next step I'm going to color it with the uh, white acrylic paint I will be coating it two times because down is gray color of cement so I have to color it completely with the white with two or three times layer so it can hide the gray shade and it will be creating it like 
white sculpture completely and I didn't use the other colors because I just want it to be plain white like museum type sculptures without any colorful things so things so that's why I'm making it like this you can go for the colors this is the second layer I was doing with the acrylic paint and now the third time I'm using this gray color with white acrylic paint just to give a little bit shade of uh, dull white not pure chalk color and those things just a little bit gray shade it's not prominent here because of the light but in real it's not pure white it's a grayish color white gray together so yeah i love that you can go for uh, any colors you like And for this cardboard piece I'm coloring it with the dark gray shade and I have prepared already with the clay cold porcelain these uh, tiny baskets for the flowers I have made it dry completely overnight then I will be sticking them here one on her one hand arm and the other one on the other side and I noticed that I I didn't make the hand actually for this side so it was a little bit difficult to stick the basket so i applied more foil from the back side of her arm then i will be folding it with the basket and then i will be coloring it with the same shade acrylic shade and i will be using this same clay i used to cover the sculpture as uh, some flowers into the basket and here we are done uh, i hope you like this tutorial for me for myself this is my first ever nice fine piece and i am totally in loving with this one um your choice whatever you can do you can use the cement as well for the fabric or you can go in my way as i did it but me i love this one more than my any sculptures i did it before so i will be making some more with uh, some details like colorful things to creating for her dress and those things but simple is beauty as well beautiful as well so i hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you want to watch more videos please do subscribe to my channel to support my hard work and share my videos on your social media and click on bell notification so you get notifications about my latest updates and i will see you in the next video thank you so much for watching and bye for now